Welcome back to the channel and I do have a crazy story from the world of AI and it involves this platform known as Replit. Now if you don't know Replit, it's basically a platform for coding, you can build applications. I personally have used Replit multiple times before to code in Python, it is fantastic and unfortunately uh, a few days ago, one of its AI agents was a pretty uh, bad boy. So what exactly happened? I have the story pulled up on Fortune and it says an AI powered coding tool wiped out a software company's database, then apologized for the catastrophic failure. It says here that a software engineer's experiment with an AI assisted vibe coding tool took a disastrous turn when an AI agent reportedly deleted a live company database during an active code freeze. Now, let me give you some context in here. Uh, vibe coding basically means that unlike in traditional AI coding, assisted coding where you would have the AI working with the developer, the AI is under a lot of supervision. In vibe coding, the AI has most of the control. Basically, the developer will simply tell the AI what it wants it to do and then the AI takes over, so the AI is under very little supervision. So what happened here was that this AI agent for Replit had been asked specifically to do a code freeze, meaning that it shouldn't tamper with any code, don't write any new code, don't edit any code, don't do anything, just go, go on vacation, right? Instead, the AI agent ignored the requests and ended up deleting the entire uh, database for the company. Now, you would think that this is as bad as it gets, obviously, what it did was pretty, pretty bad, but it gets much worse because when confronted, the AI agent initially attempted to cover up its tracks by fabricating fake user data. Let that sink in. It actually generated fake data in an attempt to say, hey, I didn't do anything. I didn't delete any data. Here's the data. When in fact, it was actually fake. So not only did the AI agent not follow instructions, but it actually also displayed deceptive behavior uh, when confronted. And by the way, the data deleted was actually quite large. It says here, it wiped out data for more than 1,200 executives and over 1,190 companies. What's even worse is the fact that when it was asked, hey, can we do a rollback, basically meaning can we do, like, like can we restore a backup? The AI agent said it wasn't possible. Now, I do believe in this case, it wasn't trying to be deceptive once again. It was simply ignorant. The good news here was that a rollback was able to be, to be performed. They restored the backup, so all the co code uh, re appeared. But just imagine if backups did not exist. Now, the Replit CEO, uh, Ahmad, I'm sorry, Amjad Massad, has already apologized saying that this was unacceptable. And he says here that walking around the weekend, we started rolling out automatic DB dev prod separation to prevent this categorically staging environments in the works to more tomorrow. So basically, what they're saying here is that they will now separate our production code from development code, which is something they really should have done right from the start, if I'm being honest with you. So he said also that thankfully we have backups. It's a one-click restore for your entire project state in case the agent makes a mistake. So good on the replit that they actually do have backups that actually work. But once again, this is actually very, very uh, fascinating because we now have AI agents not only ignoring instructions, but now uh, fabricating data in an attempt to cover up their tracks. Obviously, this should be a lesson for us. I don't think we should ever trust uh, AI agents uh, explicitly. Uh, if there is any kind of code or data we give to them, let's also make sure that we also have backups should in case the AI agent begins to hallucinate and does something uh, pretty stupid. So that's it for today's story. I thought this was very, very fascinating. So let me know what you guys uh, think about this. If you have any comments or thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comment section below. If you're new here to the channel, welcome to Lab Cyber. I discuss all things cybersecurity and AI. So if you do enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.